Jeremy Lee Renner is an American actor. He began his career by appearing in independent films such as Dahmer and Neo Ned, then supporting roles in bigger films, such as SWT, and 28 Weeks Later. Wikipedia. Born, January, the 7th, 1971, age 53 years, Modesto, California, United States. Spouse, Sai Pacheco, M. 2014-2015. Height, 1.7 for M. Children, 1. Siblings, Kyle Renner. Kim Renner, Clayton Renner, Nikki Emmons, Parents, Valerie Surley, Lee Renner. <music> Jeremy Lee Renner was born in Modesto, California, the son of Valerie, Tog, and Lee Renner, who managed a bowling alley. After a tumultuous yet happy childhood with his, for younger siblings, Renner graduated from Bayer High School and attended Modesto Junior College. He explored several areas of study including computer science, criminology, and psychology, before the theater department, with its freedom of emotional expression, drew him in. However, Renner recognized the potential in acting as much through the local police academy as through drama classes. During his second year at Modesto Junior College, Renner role-played a domestic disturbance perpetrator as part of a police training exercise for an easy $50. Deciding to shift his focus away from schoolwork, Renner left college and moved to San Francisco to study at the American Conservatory Theater. From there he moved to Hawaii and, in 1993, to Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, Renner devoted himself to theater, most notably starring in and co-directing the critically acclaimed Search and Destroy. He pursued other projects during this time as well, landing his first film role in 1995's National Lampoon Senior Trip, 1995. After several commercials and supporting roles in television movies and series, Renner captured the attention of critics with his gripping, complex portrayal of the infamous serial killer in the 2002 film Dahmer, 2002. Renner's performance, which earned him an Independent Spirit Award nomination, is especially remarkable for painting a humane and sympathetic, yet deeply disturbing, portrait of the title character. In 2003, Renner took a break from small indie films to work on his first commercially successful movie, SWT, 2003, with Colin Farrell. In 2005, he played the leading role in Neo Ned, 2005, as an institutionalized white supremacist in love with a black girl, winning the Palm Beach International Film Festival's Best Actor Award. Renner's pivotal supporting roles in 2005's 12 and Holding, 2005, and North Country, 2005, earned him accolades from critics, and his 2007 turn and take, 2007 garnered him the Best Actor Award at California's Independent Film Festival. Also in 2007, Renner played a leading role in the horror film 28 Weeks Later, 2007, as well as a supporting role in the underrated Western epic, The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, 2007, with Casey Affleck, Brad Pitt, and Sam Rockwell. Renner's depiction of Jeffrey Dahmer in 2002 caught the attention of director Catherine Bigelow, and, in 2008, she cast him in his most famous role, as Sergeant First Class William James in The Hurt Locker, 2008. Renner's performance as a single-minded bomb specialist scored him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. He also earned Best Actor nominations from the Independent Spirit Awards, the Screen Actors Guild, and the BAFTA Awards, as well as wins in this category from several film critics groups. In 2009, Renner starred in the short-lived TV series, The Unusuals, 2009 and in 2010, he played the chilling but loyal criminal gem in Ben Affleck bank heist thriller The Town, 2010. In the fall of 2010, Renner began filming Mission, Impossible, Ghost Protocol, 2011. He has also since starred in The Avengers, 2012, American Hustle, 2013, and Kill the Messenger, 2014. Renner's strengths as an actor derive not only from his expressive eyes, but also from his ability to thoroughly embody the characters he portrays. His visceral depiction of these individuals captivates audiences and empowers him to steal scenes in many of his films, even when playing a minor role. Renner gravitates toward flawed, complicated, three-dimensional characters that allow him to explore new territory within himself. In addition to his work as an actor, Renner continues to cultivate his lifelong love of music. A singer, songwriter, and musician, he performed with the band Sons of Ben early in his career. Scenes in Love Comes to the Executioner, 2006, North Country, 2005, 
and the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, 2007, briefly showcase Renner singing talents, despite traveling the world for film roles and, recently, as a United Nations Goodwill Peace Ambassador to raise awareness for mine-clearing efforts in Afghanistan, Renner remains close to his roots. In 2010, Modesto Junior College presented him the Distinguished Alumnus Award in recognition of his body of work as an actor. He also headlined at a benefit for Modesto's Gallo Center for the Arts in the fall of 2010. Renner maintains a sense of humility and gratitude. Even in the wake of his recent successes and recognition, he keeps himself grounded by renovating and restoring old and rundown iconic Hollywood homes, an enterprise he began back in his early days in Los Angeles. He values loyalty and a sense of both age and history, and enjoys the opportunity to help conserve these qualities in a town that favors the young and the new. Family Spouse Say Pacheco, January the 13th, 2014, December the 28th, 2015, Divorced, One Child Children Ava Renner Parents Valerie Renner Tog, Lee Renner, Trademarks, Deeply Intense Understated Performances, Intense Emotional Performances, Gruff Yet Soft Voice, Frequently Plays Violent or Unstable Characters, Trivia, He is on the Honorary Board of TAPS, the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, which offers compassionate care to all those grieving the loss of a loved one who died while serving in our armed forces, or as a result of his or her service. He first became interested in acting through an exercise at a local police academy, which gave him the opportunity to role-play a domestic disturbance perpetrator as part of a police training exercise for an easy $50. Eldest of six children, two sisters and three brothers, his youngest brother was born in 2011, making Jeremy a new big brother at age 40. Admitted that while he was happy to have done The Avengers, 2012, he felt that Hawkeye was snubbed in screen time. Joss Whedon seemed to notice this, as Hawkeye had a much larger and important role in the sequel. Hawkeye's monologue during the car chase scene with Black Widow in Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015, about remodeling the character's house is a thinly veiled reference to Renner's real-life hobby of remodeling Hollywood movie stars' homes. Quotes, Braveheart, 1995, pops into my mind. I like the graphic war element. It takes place in Scotland and England, and I love English history. Cinematographer, John Toll is amazing. It's a gorgeous film. I've seen it 35 times on shooting The Hurt Locker, 2008, in the unbearable heat of Jordan, we were already pushed to the limits. People wanted to quit. All the departments were struggling to get their jobs done. None of them were communicating. There was a lot of fighting going on. The heat does something to your brain, and on top of that I was in this bomb suit, and I had explosive diarrhea, so I was like, get this thing off me. I wanted to punch people. You could not pay me enough money to do it again. 2009, on his childhood, my sister was the complete opposite, she had a hard time growing up, and I was just always the happy kid. I played the drums, had my mullet, drove around on my motorcycle making out with chicks, just having a good ol' time. But it just happened while growing up, all these divorces, separations, moving to a different school every year, that things started to take a toll. The stage became a great playground for me to express feelings and in my household there wasn't a place for me to do that. It was a great venue for me to hide in a character and express rage and sadness, and I created these really disturbed, complicated characters. 2009, most people my age, and I'm going to my 20-year reunion next weekend, they're all three divorces deep, and if they're happy, right on. But that just wasn't the path I wanted to go on. I was just getting into trouble, drinking and doing stupid things until I stumbled onto acting class my junior year in college. The sense of self, the purpose. It opened this Pandora's box of emotions and it went from there. On working with Ben Affleck on the town, 2010, it was a lot of fun. We had a blast. It was like shooting a short film with one of your good buddies. He set a really good tone on the set. Just really affable as a human being. He made it very pleasant for everyone. I always knew he was smart because I'd see him on interviews and he was such a charming dude. And every day, I was surprised by just how smart he is. He's almost autistically smart, the guy is. It's ridiculous. And so experienced in the industry. He's obviously been through a lot, as an actor, as a writer, in good and bad ways. With that experience, he's very wise to a lot of things. And it's invaluable. Salaries. Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015. $5 million plus percent back end. The Bourne Legacy, 2012, $5 million. The Hurt Locker, 2009, $65,000. <laughs>